Today is World AIDS Day, and it's a day that's more important than ever. Why? Because more than 25 million people worldwide have died of the disease over the last three decades, and more than 34 million people were living with HIV last year. HIV and AIDS do not discriminate. They can affect anyone at any time. Here is the story of Marvelyn Brown, a brave young woman, author, activist, and motivational speaker who deals with this disease daily, but will not let it define her. My name is Marvelyn Brown. I'm 28 years old. I was involved with a guy I've always called Prince Charming because I grew up on all the Disney princess movies, and he was it. You know, when he told me he loved me, it meant I loved myself that much more. You know, I wanted to make him happy. Well, it came one night, he told me he didn't have a condom. I'm thinking, okay, we're going to have a baby. And it took me two weeks to be sick in the hospital uh, with pneumonia. And then about a two and a half additional uh, extra weeks to be told I was HIV positive. I'm very fortunate that um, I was tested when I was because I never really voluntarily went in to get one. I mean, I had too many shoes to get HIV, right? I didn't look like HIV, right? So I always thought HIV was somebody else's issue and not mine, and I didn't care about HIV until it happened to me. Do you have a pillbox at home? So maybe we can work on getting you a weekly pill pillbox, and I think they have the two weeks and a pack. Before I was diagnosed, I felt HIV looked like a helpless kid in Africa or a skinny, frail white man as Tom Hanks was in Philadelphia. That was my HIV education. Not me. Not me. I even heard of IV drug users and prostitutes. Not me. Sometimes it's hard to tell them apart. That's a daily dosage. Now I had to be responsible. Like I had to grow up. I had no choice. I have a, a, just a certain order. I've just always taken them in. It's weird, but got to do it. I take seven horse pills each and every day of my life to combat uh, the HIV that is living in my body. I experience side effects from nausea, diarrhea, upset stomach, probably why I'm single because mood swings. I mean, the list goes on and on. And sometimes I experience side effects from those medications, and I have to take medication for the side effects. So I would say the most pills I've taken in one day have been about 36. 24 more hours. Then I gotta take it again. <laughs> you never get used to taking that medication. Like every single night at 10 p.m. is a reminder of the girl at 19 years old who was scared to stand up for herself. People who've turned their back on me, uh, they think HIV is contagious. They think they're different than me. We all had sex. I had friends who got sex, had sex and got pregnant. Friends who had sex and got STD to wound away with shot up pill. I just so happened to have sex and contract HIV. We all reached in the same bag, boo. You ain't no different than me. HIV is a hard disease to live with. However, I'm not gonna let it hinder me. And once I contracted it, I said, I'm gonna live my life. And I've done just that and I live every day to the fullest. I refuse to let HIV can control me. I control it. I control my life and my future and HIV just along for the ride. When we come back, the dangers and possibilities our young people are facing today.